Alright you guys, it's AK Scroller from akscroller.com. Got a Nexus S here. I'm going to be flashing it back to stock. Okay, here's what you're going to do first, Nexus S users. You're going to go to akscroller.com and you're going to go to enter site. After you enter the site, it'll take a second. After you enter the site, uh, you'll see these three dots. And then, good. Up here, it'll say form. Underneath, uh, social, next to social network login here, you're going to go to forms, okay? Now you actually have to go to forms and register here on this screen. It'll say register. Go ahead and register. Once you register, you'll be able to see all of the, uh, the form. What you're going to do is scroll down to find Samsung. We handle all of these phones, you guys. Tell your friends about us. But you're going to go to Samsung and you're going to go to the Nexus S 4G room right there. All right. And we're inside and you just scroll down and we're going to get your stock. Okay. Once we're there, you're going to download the stock for the Nexus S. After it's downloaded to your computer, make sure you have WinZip or WinRAR, okay? I prefer WinZip. Now, we open up the download with WinZip. It's open. Now, at this point, you guys, go ahead and right-click on your home screen of your computer. Scroll down to New and make Folder, okay? It's called New Folder 3 on my computer. Go ahead and highlight all of this stuff and drag and drop it to the folder that we created on the desktop. That's going to extract everything very quickly for us with no problems. Quick drag and drop. Alright, now it's done. Now what else we're going to do is we are going to make another folder. We're going to name it Phone. F-P-H-O-P-H-O-N-E, right? Phone. All right. The reason why is because we flash this thing back to stock, what you're going to do is just go ahead and put that in there. Pull down your top bar. You'll see USB connected. Go ahead and touch it. Turn it on. Little thing spins. Computer will grab it. Now we need to go to uh, computer. popping up and go ahead and open up your removable disk and do the same thing highlight all of this we're going to be just all your pictures your music everything on your phone and simply drag them and drop them to the folder called phone okay that will back up everything on your phone to your computer so you don't lose your pictures or music if you don't do that you will lose everything on the next step okay all right now that that's done here's what we're going to do all right now at this point what we're going to do is in the phone, we're going to go to Menu, Saints, and we're going to go to Applications, Development, and make sure USB debugging is turned on. Make sure that's checkmarked, okay? So again, we're going to go to Menu, Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure USB debugging is checkmarked. Once those things are done, go ahead and plug in the phone. Up top it'll say USB debugging contact connected. At this screen where it says turn on USB storage, hit home. Don't turn on USB storage. Alright, phone is plugged to computer, sitting there. Now we're going to go open our folder that we drag and drop the uh, download from the website to. And inside you're going to hit the one that says run. And then we're going to run it again. On this screen, it's real quick, real easy. All you do is hit spacebar continue, read it. It says it's going to erase everything like I already explained to you. Hit any key to go again. And it says make sure USB debugging is on. Showed you how already. Hit continue again. Now it's going to go through the process. This might take a minute. The phone looks like this. This is starting to do its job. I'm going to set the phone down. All right, now the phone has booted itself into fast boot mode, okay, bootloader, whatever, and now we're going to hit continue again. At this point, it's sending system, you're just seeing all this, okay? It says press any key to continue, sending boot, okay, writing boot, 
failed remote bootloader locked whatever who cares yours might say something different I've already flashed this phone a couple times just to make this video but now it says sending system good um, it's sending everything you'll see failed on my side because I've done this so many damn times um, so now congratulations you are back to stock your phone will reboot you don't have the lock screen on the bottom anymore and now you're good to go all you do is close that window we don't need it no more and go ahead and close that disconnect the phone from the computer and your phone is back to as if it was brand new out of the box okay I already did it that's why you don't see the Nexus button or whatever because I just messed up this whole video earlier but alright so we got the X Nexus S back to stock all you do again is go to akscriller.com and go to the forms and make sure when you're in the forms you go down to the Samsung and go to the Nexus S room for G to get your stock software or you guys go to that room to get your uh, root or your ROMs it's whatever you're looking for for the Nexus S but don't worry you can flash your phone back to stock if you don't like anything that's going on Okay, you guys, again, this is AK Scroller from akscroller.com. God bless you all, and have fun with your Nexus S's.